legalization of recreational marijuana for adults took its first step toward approval at the state legislature today after lawmakers heard from both sides at a spirited hearing. But as Daryl Huff reports, there is still a long way to go. Daryl. There was only one no vote today as Senate Bill 3335 made it out of two Senate committees. It's also supported by the governor, but his attorney general wrote the bill, but her office is emphasizing reasons it should not pass. The issues of federal illegality, the growth of the illicit market, driving while high, and problems with protecting children, among others, are serious concerns that the legislature must consider. But Judiciary Chair Carl Rhodes argued that Hawaii is bucking a trend with 24 states already allowing recreational adult use. They've managed to cope somehow. Uh, I mean, won't we be able to manage to cope somehow too? There's no state that's ever come out completely unscathed from this process. I think it's just a matter of what's the tolerance of risk for um, the legislature in doing this. And of course there are risks to not doing anything either. Supporters rally around that concept that not legalizing adult use leaves criminals in control, costing government money instead of raising it. There is already on Kauai a thriving adult use marijuana market and it is just completely in the hands of the illicit market and they don't ID, they don't test and they don't care who they sell it to and often they're selling other drugs too. We also have some financial data and modeling to show that if we were to start uh, sales could reach uh, 35 million in tax revenue in the first two years Thanks, and up I to can. 80 million. Thank you. Up. Authorities will actually know who is selling marijuana where it is being sold, when and to whom. Cannabis will be produced um, and sold by legitimate taxpaying businesses mm -hmm. instead of drug cartels and criminals. Opposition comes from those concerned about impacts on law enforcement and public safety and youth and families, like this woman who said it led to destruction of her family. And he smoked weed. Little did they know that many years down the line, it would lead to a life of addiction it led our family down a road of methamphetamine, of fentanyl, of domestic violence, of incarceration, and a continuation of generational curses. One of them would be um, our keiki, and um, knowing that normalization of cannabis is already happening and that our keiki are using it in their vapes. And no matter what type of structure you set up, you will be legalizing a powerful drug and it will have a lot of bad consequences. Um, until we tackle homelessness, until we tackle the addiction issues we have, this is not something that should be on the table. The bill now heads for two more Senate committees and the full Senate where similar approval is expected, but the House is a different story where a proposal just to decriminalize small amounts of marijuana yesterday caused a long debate on a procedural vote that should have been easy. Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.